Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Michael Chiesa. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington, presenting the challenger, Michael Maverick Kiesa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. Are you ready? You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top. He's got the strong base and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. Russ starts to advance position and get grounded pound off. Punch over the top. Well, certainly not just a wrestler as the champion Usman shows his boxing chops there, DC. Beautiful combo. Yeah, Henry Hoop has done a fantastic job with him. He's a pupil to Henry. Henry's taking him under his wing. He's taking the time to build this young wrestler into a great fighter. And that one certainly found the target. All collar tie. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice defense there, huge block. Beautiful straight punch there by Chiesa, though. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful body kick. Takedown defense holds up. Strong hook lands. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Usman gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. 
He is all about that left kick to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. One minute to go. Nice move to punch. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice, nice. Great one on the face. Takedowns were great that round. I want more of that. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, uppercut to the dome. Another big shot to the head. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big kick land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big hook. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue. The cut DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight groups are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. 
That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it uh, might be good night, Irene. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at how he drives his knees. Oh! It, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and The celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send...